This is a short presentation on our new paper, a simple baseline for Bayesian uncertainty in deep learning, appearing at New Rives 2019. I am Pavel Ismailov, and this is a joint work with Timur Garipov, Wesley Maddox, Dmitry Vetrov, and Andrew Gordon Wilson. Machine learning models are used to make decisions, and representing uncertainty is crucial for decision making, especially in safety critical applications. For example, imagine you are in a forest and you are gathering mushrooms. You have an app on your phone that uses a neural network to classify whether a mushroom is poisonous or not. But because the network is trained using classical methods which ignore parameter uncertainty, it tends to be overconfident. If the app says there is a 90% chance that the mushroom is safe, there may actually be just a 70% chance. If we instead had a model that provided trustworthy probabilities, then it would be much easier to make a good decision. Deep learning models trained with maximum likelihood tend to be overconfident and miscalibrated because they ignore uncertainty over their parameters. In Bayesian machine learning, we account for this uncertainty. We form a posterior distribution over the weights according to the Bayes rule. Once this distribution is formed, we can make predictions using Bayesian model averaging. We integrate out the weights of the model according to the posterior. For neural networks, the posterior is intractable and we have to approximate it in some way. There are many approximate inference methods, but they tend to be highly sensitive to hyperparameter choices and hard to scale to modern datasets and architectures. A key challenge for approximate inference methods is to capture the geometry of the posterior. The key idea of our work is to extract information from the SGD trajectory to approximate the posterior. Suppose we have a two-dimensional quadratic loss function and run SGD with isotropic Gaussian noise in the gradients. We show the optimization trajectory here in the slide. SGD iterates follow the shape of the loss. The posterior density is proportional to the exponent of negative loss, so SGD also captures the shape of the posterior. It turns out that we can use the same exact idea to approximate the posterior in deep neural nets. In this work, we propose SWA Gaussian, or SWAG, a scalable approximate Bayesian inference technique for deep learning. We start by pre-training a neural network with SGD to get a good initial solution. Starting from this solution, we run SGD with a high constant learning rate and keep track of the iterates. We construct a Gaussian approximation to the trajectory. The mean of this approximation is the average of SGD iterates and is known as stochastic weight averaging or SWA solution. SWA solutions are known to generalize better than SGD solutions. For the covariance matrix, we use a low rank plus diagonal format to keep the computational and memory requirements of the method low. At test time, we perform Bayesian model averaging. We sample models from the SWAG approximation, compute predictions for each of the models, and average those predictions. It turns out that SWAG captures the local geometry of the posterior remarkably well. In the slide, we visualize the posterior log density surface for SNET-156 on CIFAR-10 in the subspaces spanned by the first and second and third and fourth PCA components of the SGD trajectory. SWAG variances are aligned with the posterior widths along the PCA directions. We apply SWAG to a range of tasks, including image classification, language modeling, and tabular regression. Across the board, SWAG consistently performs better than or on par with state-of-the-art methods for uncertainty in deep learning. In the slide, we show reliability diagrams, which visualize uncertainty calibration. To make these plots, we split test data into bins based on the confidence of the model and compute the difference between the average accuracy and confidence within each bin. A perfectly calibrated method is shown with a white dashed line. Svex reliability diagrams are closer to zero compared to the competing methods. To sum up, Svex is a very simple and easy to use method for improving predictions and uncertainty in deep learning at a very low computational cost. For more details, please see the paper.